almost get away with killing this thing. Almost. There it goes. It did. So I believe that was the end of it. Um, don't really need that. Oh, look at that. We got a whole bunch of trick or treat bags. Got one candy corn. Okay, so we finished the quest. Let's go back there. I do have to say, doing these quests are definitely rewarding. Shwing. Evil Residence Code Harmonica. I wonder if this is like a daily. Let's take it. Let's kill some zombies. Okay. So first of all, let's do what I came here to do. See a lot of candy corns in there. At least at the start. Definitely, let's get our drink on. And... Oh, 54, thankfully. Let's go talk to uh, Gull Terror here and trade these things in. I just want one of these things so badly. My choice of Halloween accessories. Interesting. So, do I come over here to the gift giver? Is that who this? No. Maybe it's Festival's hats. The Festivus hats. Uh, please make me a new hat, please. No. Um. Where do I change this thing into? Costume brawl. No. Okay, so I gotta look this up. What the hell is this thing called? Ghoulish accessory token. So let's take a look. Let's go and open up the wiki here. Okay, so we will do ghoulish accessory token. So these ghoulish accessory tokens are awarded by completing the Halloween quest Better You Than Me, which is one that I did, and Double Your Pleasure and Run, which can be completed once per account every Halloween, with the exception of Halloween 2012 for some reason. So it looks like I have to go to Commandon for this. Yeah, it looks like from 2011 to 2005, there were the unique, like, helmets or, or masks or whatever. And then the stuff in Commandon are just different sets. So it looks like I'm going to be able to get the Reaper's Hood or the Tricorn. I think I'd rather have the Reaper's Hood. Or should I get the Tricorn? Should I get the tricorn? I don't know which one should I get. I don't know. What are the ghoulish grab bags give me, by the way? Is that even a thing I can get? I think so. The tricorn would actually look really good with our the appearance of our outfit, right? But I don't know if I want the reaper's hood, though. Unless, of course, I can do better than you, than me, and double your pleasure and run. That is a possibility. So um, we need to talk to either Aten in Kamadan or 
Erulis in Lion's Arch. Okay. So I'm wondering if we get to actually see these guys. We get a, uh, where, where is Erulis? We are finding Mr. Erulis. Is this guy? Okay, he's not over here. E R U L I S. Hmm. Oh, there you are. This is the man. Interesting! So I can get all of them. Awesome! Holy shit balls! Wow! So this is pretty much incentivizes you to participate every year, so you can do one per year. So we can get the originals. Zombie face paints, char hat. Personally, I'm more for the ferocious ears or the tricorn. Okay, just for shits and giggles. Let's go to Commandant. Because, oh, and the other thing I want to check out, by the way. Yeah, we were only able to do that one quest once. Oh, that's a bummer. So that means we only get to choose one thingamabobber. One, one item. So we need Aten. A, A. So we got a quest over here. We have more Festivus quests over here, right? Yes. Give me all of your quests. Oh, no way. Possible. She just gave me a straight up uh, a Festivus token. Why? Why though? Why did she give me one? I mean, it's cool that she gave me one, but why? Did I complete a quest or was it just like, you know, talk to me and get a thing? Um, I'm just walking over here to make sure that I don't actually have other quests, I guess. I mean, I don't plan. I don't really want to pick up any of the Nightfall quests because there is a cap to the number of quests that you can have in your, basically your quest lock here. So you can only take so many. I do have to say, Arena Net, if you guys are actually watching this, this would have been a really good quality of life feature. I think you guys could have implemented at some point, especially now that the game is so old and feel like I feel like it could be handled on just about any system. Although, I don't know about now, because you guys do implement the uh, the HD thing. But, um... But it'd be really nice to, like, expand the active quest that you can have. Or just, like, how about... Even potentially having, like, the ceiling just being some ridiculous number, so that way... It, I, I don't know what the, no the, the total number of quests at any given point in time in the game is, because... You know, you could potentially have all of the quests available to you, and then you have the Zaishin quest, then you have festival quests. So I don't know what the maximum number of quests that could be taken on at any given point in the time of the game. I don't know what the ceiling is. So, the, and the reason why I'm bringing that up is because it would be nice to actually have the cap to the number of quests that you can have, just like that can pretty much accommodate that, so you never run into that ever again. So here's Mr. Aten. We do indeed get some different thingamabobbers here. Some, uh, why do I keep saying that, thingamabobbers? Uh, we get... Oh, look at this. We get a lupine mask, a mummy mask, a wicked hat, skeleton face paint, spectacles, no, excuse me, spec... specter... spectacles. Very punny. Or the Reaper's Hood. I'm going to go with the Spectacles. Because those look dead sexy. Can I just, like, equip them things? Oh, sweet. So can I actually have both? Can I have the, the, the ears, too? I, I remember seeing somebody. Somebody actually had Spectacles plus... We're going to do Always Show. Oh, no. 
Oh, they're goggles. Can I get a refund? I don't want these. I thought they were I thought they were the the glasses. You can get a pair of like spectacles in this game somehow. I don't remember how. I don't remember if that's like Winter's Day. As a matter of fact, we'll look that up here in a second. Um, but I really want to go to Lion's Arch. I think we'll get the the stupid cat ears. I want to get the tricorn because, I mean, for Christ's sakes, look at our outfit. As soon as we get access to it, come on, game. So, can you imagine me if I took off all these stupid goggles here? So a tricorn is the triangular hat that you would see, like, say, somebody from the 18th century wearing. You know, maybe, like, say, like a sailor. Especially the, um, the officers. So I just think that our, our character would look really good with one. Also, the one mask, honestly, the zombie face paint might actually look good. But we're going to go with the ferocious ears. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I can only have one or the other. Boo! So this is what our character is going to look like now. Unless I really want... The, the goggles. I don't really like the goggles, though. I just don't like them. Can I zoom in one more? Nope. God damn it. I just want to. I just want to see my character. The goggles or the ears? Well, it is Halloween. We'll go with the ears. So the one thing I, I am actually genuinely curious about, um, by the way, is the uh, Festivus hat guy. Where are you at? We have a costume maker over here. What pray tell is this? What is a costume? Oh, that's right. Okay, so the costumes are basically like cosmetic cosmetic item sets that you can get from the cash shop. You buy them with real money, and I do own a couple of them. This looks like I have the auger of. As a matter of fact, um, the thumbnail for the original Prophecies campaign that I did had me, uh, I think, dressed up in the armor for that originally. Because I think um, I used the armor, the armor getup. It's basically a skin. I used it for the um, beginning portion of the game, for pre-searing. Looks like we have Dragon Guard, Aegis of Unity, and Shining Blade. I got a f quite a few of them. So Festivus hats. Um... So here's the thing, FYI to everybody out there, if you if you want to play Guild Wars and uh, or if you're new to it or whatever else, if you get yourself a festival hat, you will always have the festival hat vendor in one of the major hubs here. Whenever you acquire a new one, always go up to them and say, I want to show you a new hat. And then you show it to them. And basically what happens is, is that records it for this character. So now that any time I want to create ferocious ears, I just have to go up here and pay 10 gold. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it basically unlocks it for your entire account. So the um, the wiki said that, I think. I think it was basically you do it one time per account per year, per festival, right? I think so. I think that was the case. So that would make sense that it would unlock it for your for your account. Hmm, I do have a second account. I'm wondering if maybe I should get off of my main account here and do the secondary account, just so I can get myself some sexy ears. As a matter of fact, my the second account it really isn't my account. I bought it for my woman. But she just doesn't have or hasn't had the time to play. So I basically just used it as a second account to transfer items and whatnot. Um so right, um, also, when you when you have these cosmetic items, you can once you once you register them or you purchase them from the cash shop, you can pretty much just feel free to delete them. Let's also uh, talk to the merchant here so I can clear up my inventory. I want to see what the other festival quests are before we determine where I want to go next, or at least who else I want to put in my party. 
Because that last little sequence there was stupid. And I think I would have probably had done a little bit better. I don't know. I just, it's not like I would have done a little bit better. I just would have been a little bit more efficient, I think, if I actually had, like, a really hard DPS guy. Because there's a lot of times where you're going through, like, just areas like this where I just don't really give a shit about anything and I just want to clear through it. But, you know, your monster, your, your heroes are going to kill monsters. They're going to get dropped. So I figure if I'm going to do that, I might as well bring in something really highly efficient. And then, uh, let's see. I think. Um, oh, I suppose we'll put you here. You could also deposit some money because I don't really need it. Oh, deposit funds, please. Thank you. And our inventory. Oh, that's right. Let's get rid of the uh, the feathers. <sighs> and I have so many goddamn stacks of bone. As a matter of fact, I mean, there's another full stack. Jesus Christ. I don't know what to do with them. At some point, by the way, I have these other um, extraneous items like the volcanic rock and the uh, mo egg. There's like five or six items that you cr uh, have to pick up all throughout the various campaigns. It's like this big, huge quest. It's like a, a big, like kind of a, like a hide and seek quest almost. Like a big wild goose chase, a literal wild goose chase because you're you're basically getting a, a black moa chick, I think as a pet. I think it's a pet, but there's a quest related to it. Now, I do want to do the quest at some point. I just uh, really want to finish up our campaigns here. So let's quit. Uh, let's go babbling. We're babbling. Uh, I have a solo quest here. I don't really want to do that one yet. Talk to Countess Hakewood to travel to the settlement. Okay. We got 10 or trick or treat bags. So what are we going to do? Whatever. Let's go talk to the Countess. Let's get this over with. Oh, and uh, before we do so... My problem with using a warrior is I don't have 100 blades. I don't think unlocked yet. I think one of my monks is a smiter. Okay, you are my aura of a lich guy. You know what? I think I am going to bring him. Bring another guy that summons. They're ridiculously useful. Useful. Okay, let's talk to the Countess here. Let's go to uh, Heirlooms Event King. No. All right, let's go. I'm hoping I didn't accidentally take the uh, solo quest. Good. Very good. So in another ten minutes, I probably should feed my cats here. So I think I'm going to complete this quest here. Come on, get away from me! Damn you! They're already starting to whine for food. I'm sorry, kitties. You guys are going to have to chill for a minute. Oh, no. I got these same shitty quest or skills. Terrible. I'm guessing this is like round two of this. Meaning we killed all the, the bad guys the first time. And now we're just kind of back here. Or is it literally just another, like, tower defense? Is this something that I'm, like, literally doing again, or was this the same as the other quest? Because I could have swore it isn't the same because I actually had to walk here before. I didn't have the other people. Or I had the, uh, the other AI guys. Yeah, yeah. Got rid of him right before he casted his Death Nova. So very dead sexy. Kind of sort of don't really even want to do this quest right now. I just really wasn't a fan of doing it the first time. Kind of a bummer.
Oops. Here, you guys can probably come over here and help me, you know. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just going to be a repeat of the, the other... The other mission that was similar. Or this is the way that the uh, game lets you to repeat the stuff, maybe? I mean, I guess that's a, a possibility. So I absolutely want to get rid of these uh, zombie hounds first, because they suck balls. They do a lot of damage to barbs. Oh my god, get out of there, please. Really need to pay attention to my own health. Absolutely. Kind of stupid if I didn't. But I'm just so used to having somebody else that heal, to heal me, so it's like I'm not really paying attention to it, to be very honest. This mission just feels very anticlimactic to me. Mm -mm -mm. All right, why don't you guys go over there that way? We'll take care of the bone horror over this way, over yonder. I'm hoping I'm not like literally just coming over here for the two bone horrors, and the fucking game's gonna make me go all the way back. All right, there, gentle dicks, go up there, take care of this uh, zombie warlock as much as I. Possibly can. <sighs> really sucks. I already got one dead villager. Uh, it was right over here, too. Oh, it's really disappointing. to do is actually just get the hell out of the way. There we go. Let's get rid of the other one. If that's possible. Please. Please. Come on, take him out. God damn you. Oh, I actually have a boss monster over here. You know, that could be the reason why I'm not killing this thing, by the way. Got a trick or treat bag here. Yay! Just the warlocks that I'm really worried about. Please go. So this guy right here is the perfect candidate for a closer. so many of them. Oh, I hate them. 
Oh, what the fuck happened to my echo? No, what am I doing? I'm gonna die. Holy shit. What's up, bitches? Daddy's back. Please take these guys out. I just really wish I could prioritize my heroes. I know when you put them under the uh, the banner, the checkpoint, the waypoint thingy. When they do it, it's just their behavior is just wonky. God damn it! There's another one that's dead. Son of a bitch. Let's talk about this mission. Is that all of my people have the same skills? That's why it sucks. It's just the same shit. Here, why don't you guys like come over here, please? See the problem right here is because we got a monk boss. Oh look at this, this is perfect. Spawns right on top of him. Nice. The warlocks, the warlocks, hello. Yes, take them out. Get out of the way from Death Nova, please. I know I'm doing a really atrocious job of managing my skills here. I understand. Oh, man. Here, you guys stay, like, right over there, dude. Come on, fucking cast it, please. Go, do it. Do the damage. Before you sh fucking kill somebody else. Goddamn prick of a game. There is kind of a tab targeting system in this game. I just don't implement it. Because I'm stupid. I know the pro thing would be to, you know, actually do like a... Hot key to actually uh, scroll through the various monsters. My various targets, that is. So I feel like this would actually go a lot better if uh, the AI here would uh, help me out. Let me do a throw dirt. Nice. <laughs> so I got double throw dirt. Okay. I can live with that. Hopefully this is the last guy, please. No more. Or is it gonna have me attack from the west? You're gonna have me attack from the west, aren't you? Yeah, nope. Okay, it's gonna be right here. Fine. Fine, fine.
sucks. I totally got a misfire there. Shot my spear of light and it didn't do jack. Didn't do a damn thing. Oh my god. Please, you guys. Please. Please. I don't think my my AI guys are actually prioritizing their throw their throw dirt or their dash. Ouch! Get out of there! Get out of there! Hello! So the last time I did this, I remember having to come back here, right? We killed off this wave, and then we went back for another big major wave, and then that was the end of it. This must be a repeatable mission, and that's why it's only given me 10 trick-or-treat bags. That's what my money is on, anyways. Please take out the fucking zombie warlock. God damn it. Please. Now that would be something really awesome in this game if there was something else implemented where I could do a little bit more advanced AI ally commands. Like put something in here where like I could have it to where my party members are prioritizing say healers and the next prioritize mesmers and the next prior prioritize necromancers. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be cool. God damn it, just get so bogged down with these Little bullshit wieners. These summonable guys. God damn it. There goes another settler. Running out of settlers here, dude. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, these, this guy up here is going to die if I don't get over here. God damn it. Nope. This is going to be party wipe right here. Uh uh, I swear to God. There are just way too many. So what I should be doing is actually prioritizing the Echo Spirit of Light, like, straight up. I don't know why I haven't been doing this. I've just been playing really stupid. Can you guys please stop fucking around with these guys? I mean, please? Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So many. So I'm gonna try to get the rest of my party up here, right here in the middle. So I might be able to actually do something here. Okay, this Ascalonian settler, I don't think is gonna live, but we're gonna try. Do I got their attention? All right, we're gonna have to do a throw dirt here. There we go. So the the spear of light is the only thing I have that actually has some sort of. I think real AOE benefits. I mean, I know that the the Spirit Rift uh, is supposed to, right? But it kind of sucks.
This is a very uninteresting quest, by the way. There's our man. So probably the thing to do here would be to uh, maybe kill off all the other bad guys first. Like say that zombie warlock. Get rid of the. Get rid of him. Let's get back and heal. Now we can focus on this guy. I think if we keep, manage to keep up uh, Spirit Rift on him and the Throw Dirt, we should be alright. It just has a lot of hit points, really. Try not to run out of MP. Casting Flare all the time. Although, I'll be very honest with you, I should have probably done Echo Throw Dirt. Because Throw Dirt only lasts for 10 seconds. Everything only costs five. Ouch. There we go. So which quest was this? Evil Residence. Okay, so I don't want to do that one again. Twice was enough. Once was enough. I didn't mean to do it again. Like, over again. I thought it was going to be like slightly different. But it wasn't. What do we got here? Heirlooms of Mad King. All right, first of all, before we uh, proceed, did pick up a couple of items that needed some identification. So I noticed in, in a couple other people's videos before is there, there's a way to actually expand all of your all of your um, different item slots here, like your bags and shit. I'm not really entirely sure how to do that. I did kind of like, sort of, look up how to do it once before, but I, I just, I don't know. I didn't get anything ex, uh, satisfactory. I don't know if it's like something in the UI that I need to change or if it's like a third party mod or something I need to install or implement. Oh, I think we're gonna go up to the chest here and I think I'm gonna take another break yep we're at the two hour and 36 minutes mark overdue to feed some felines and I do have to say man my cats have been really good today my one cat is still pretty young he just turned four a few last month actually already like kind of on november time so uh, glittering dust i think i'm probably full up on you guys right i am indeed okay and then the uh the Crichton keys don't need them i mean excuse me the maguma jungle key so i'm gonna keep the Crichton keys on me just in case Right? Because I don't really want to keep going back out in that wilderness and then actually finding a chest. I know it's not going to be filled with really anything good. I don't know if there's a percentage chance during these festivals that if you unlock boxes and chests and stuff, that that has a possibility of dropping uh, some sort of special drop. I don't know. Not sure. But anyways, I'm going to uh, take a break here. Let's just double check, make sure I have everything else that I want. So I could probably drop off some of this stuff. 
but I, I don't need to. Uh, let's see here. This quest needs to. We gotta defeat Bryce, the stable boy. Two more quests to go. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 